What do you think of the managerial changes, Sean? Which one do you think um, is a great hire and the one that left you scratching your head the most of the fire? Um, let's, let's start with that second one first. Which one left you scratching your head on uh, firing the well, most? A couple. I mean, Dusty Baker, you know, I – I mean, you know, for the Nationals to win all those games, I know that I know mm -hmm. that that clubhouse loved Bake, and uh, it's not easy to win 90 plus games. You know, I don't care mm -hmm. what market you're in or what kind of team you have. Now, I scratched my head a little bit on that one. Uh, Joe Girardi leaving, I think that scratched my head a little bit on that one too. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's had so much success. I don't know if him and Cashman didn't maybe butt heads See, a little I, bit. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so um, that I, that was definitely a head scratcher. Seeing Dave Martinez though get hired in in Washington. I think that's going to be great. Was the bench coach for Madden for all those years, and then Gabe Kapler, yeah. right, got hired with the Phillies. Yeah. So very rarely did you ever ever have a manager that could kick your ass, <laughs> physically kick uh, your ass. Uh, you I, I know, well, I know Jim Leland. I was scared of Jim. Jim was like, you know, I'm like, uh, I, if you like cross Jim, you know, I, I think he would he would kick your butt. I remember, do you have time for a quick story? Please. So I remember one time I was. Uh, you know, Skip's always, you know, he, back in the day, he could the crush heaters. the heaters, in, you know, in, in Pittsburgh, it was no big deal. But like, but like now, you know, they're like, you got to go in the tunnel, right? So, so when he went in the tunnel to smoke his heaters, you know, you didn't, you didn't mess with him because it was like, you know, pit bull eating his food. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't even talk to him <laughs> or anything. So Gavin Floyd hits me with a cutter about 95 mile an hour, right in my, right in my elbow. Boom. And I'm like, oh, and my whole body goes numb. So I'm sitting in the, I am just can't even move. Mm -hmm. Here comes Leland. I was like, you all right? I'm like, no, I'm not all right. I'm numb. He's like, well, can you stay in the game? And I'm so scared to tell him no. I was like, yeah, I can stay in the game. I'm fine. So I go down to first, inning ends, come out. Rich, I can't even lift my arm, like literally. And I'm, I was playing first base. I would just whirl one right in the teeth. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I, I can't go back out there. So I go to Gene Lamont. I'm like, Gino, I can't go out there. I can't, I can't feel my arm. He's like, go tell Skip. I was like, you go tell Skip. <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. So I went down there. And I'm like, he's like, you got to tell him. So I go down, I'm like, skip, skip. And he's just in his chair, you know, with his head down, thinking about the game, crushing the heater. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, skip. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, hey man, I was like, I can't feel my arm. It's numb. I was like, I don't think I can go. He's like, oh, and I fluster him. He's like, all right, tell Gino to get Marcus Sims in the game. Go get some ice on that. And never, ever bother me again when I'm smoking a heater. <laughs> <laughs> It did you? No, never, never yeah. again, never again. And I, and uh, you know, he was the one guy I was always a little scared of. You know, great friend of mine, loved him to death. My one of my favorite, probably my favorite manager. But but he had the edge. Like you know, he was your dad. You're always a little scared of your dad. You yeah. Know? For more Rich Eisen show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv or download the Rich Eisen show app.